The Avon ties Intermark silhouettes to return to action at Mallory Park after a quick turnaround after racing at Brands Hatch the previous Saturday. 20 cars qualified with Steve Burrows heading the timesheet. Colleague Malcolm Blackman would set the second fastest time with Ian Hales completing the top three locked out by Vauxhall Tigras. Then came the Genettas of Ray Harris and Mike Thurley, followed by the Mercedes of Daniel Smith. Next up was Colin Smith, who was joined on row number four by Lewis Smith, although the Mercedes driver needed a gearbox change before the first race of the day. Dave York was in impressive ninth position with Danny Smith completing the top 10, and it was great to welcome a number of new drivers to the series, Simon Hunt in his BMW Z4 and Nigel Beardsmore in his Mercedes SLK. Race one got underway just after lunchtime at Mallory Park with Burroughs leading the field, but there are a bunch of cars filling his rear view mirror all vying to overtake him. It was all going smoothly until exiting the tight hairpin, Lewis Smith slowed down having another transmission issue. As quite a few cars dived around his Mercedes, the poor Brian Loram was collected in the approach to the Devil's Elbow. He hit the barriers very hard, with Lewis also ending up in the gravel trap. This brought out a red flag, halting proceedings. It was a big relief for all involved to see Brian climb out of his car. His car was very badly damaged, but thankfully he managed to get out, and there was much applause from the spectators nearby to see him get out of the car safely. The restart was only five laps and Burroughs was leading for the majority of that. The day was already put behind schedule after incidents in some of the other series at the start of the day. And then on the final lap of the race, Blackman managed to make his overtake for the lead of this race to take his first victory of the season. A spectacular overtakes going into Gerrard. Behind these two, Harris took third position, just behind the top two, less than a second behind. Fourth went the way of Hales, who outpaced Mercedes's Daniel Smith, and Thurley was up next and winning the seniors category. Connor Smith came home in seventh position, just ahead of Paul Knight. Pat Keeley had another good race and settles into the top 10 in his Tigra, with Nick Robinson also taking a top 10 spot. York had a tussle with Paul Young over 11th position and John Stewart moved up to 13th position after starting 20th, the great comeback through the field. And the finishes were completed by Danny Smith and his Tigra, John Price, Hutt and Beardsmore. Unfortunately, Ailing was one of the other non-finishers. And then after time to repair the cars where necessary, the draw for race two saw the top seven reversed and that put a very happy Colin Smith on pole position. Unfortunately, this race was shortened to just six laps, which was a real pity, as many of the drivers had travelled a long way to make this Mallory Park round. Nevertheless, the drivers put on a spectacular display of high-speed overtaking, and it was Harris who made a fantastic start. It was Colin Smith leading the way for the early part of this race, but then Harris, after his fantastic start, was battling for that lead and took it on lap number three. And Blackman followed through to get that position number two on lap number four. Following on his spectacular race in the first race of the day, Blackman managed to get the lead once again on lap number five and gave Blackman his second win of the day, with Harris just half a second behind in second position. Connor Smith displayed some fantastic defensive manoeuvres and took third position from Burroughs, Daniel Smith and Hales. Kitty drove a great race to take seventh position with Thurley in eighth, just winning the seniors overnight. York rounded out the top ten just ahead of Danny Smith. Ellie made up some great ground in this race, going from 17th position to 12th in six laps. That's pretty impressive. A steward got the better of Robertson. Young, Price and Beardsmore were the finishers in the second race of the day. And the drivers don't have much rest until the next round of the Intermark Silhouette will be joining the American Speed Fest on the 3rd of July. 
The other categories will be all going to Cadwell Park on July the 25th, so we'll look forward to seeing you at those two events for more spectacular racing at the CMM CS.